I want you to walk out of here with the plan to, to go create some showcases. Okay? The whole concept of the showcase is we need feeder systems of people. Right? We need feeder systems of people. Okay? That's really what we need. And that's really the concept of creating a showcase. You know, it's kind of like I said yesterday, open house is a showcase. Mm -hmm. Now the question is how do you get a lot of people into that showcase? A webinar is a showcase. Anything that's free that people could, I call it taste the ice cream, is a showcase. Okay? So if you're an auctioneer and you, can, you have a message and a concept and you can go speak out in front of people, the more you can be seen in front of people over and over and over, the more, the more that presence is very important to the equation. So what, I, what I'm trying to show you here is we don't need to rely on one strategy. We need to literally come up with multiple strategies. And these are like pulling levers. So I've got a hit list every day. I've got a farm club every day. I've got a red zone every day. I've got blue marlins every day. Right? I'm doing showcase events. I've also, I'm hitting, see we haven't got into hitting the database. We haven't got into, uh, we haven't got to talk about social media, what we're doing on social media yet. See, these are all other strategies to be doing to generate interest and leads. If you need more leads, this is, that's specifically what we're talking about. How do I go out and generate more leads? So if I told you, you got to put together a showcase in the next 45 days, it could be online, it could be in person. It could be education. It could be entertainment. It could be edutainment. Okay? Which is where they are entertained and educated. Okay? What, I want you to think right now, what would your showcase be? So that's a very specific niche. That's very old and traditional. So they're kind of bringing a new flavor to an old industry, okay? And that's called Vujade. Okay, it's where you bring a new twist to an old way of thinking, okay? So, so when I, when he, if you study Harmozy, $100 million offers, which everybody should, he talks about serving a starving audience that has purchasing power in a growing market See, there's certain criteria you're looking for. And the exact example he uses in that book is, if you had a hot dog stand, does it really matter how good the hot dogs are if you're serving hot dogs outside of a bar at 2.30 in the morning? <laughs> See, what is, what is his point there? Right? Y'all got a hot dog outside a bar at 2.30 in the morning, haven't you? Now, here, here's the deal. Here's the deal. His point... Right? Because you go down to Nashville, late at night, Nashville, you go out to get a little hot dog stand outside the bars. Now, here's the point. The point is the hot dogs don't have to be that great when you have a starving audience. So the reason I'm telling you this is because I look for neglected problems that are starving audiences. They're starving for something. And I just test the concept to see if it's, a, if, you know, would people come to this concept? So when I, if, if I'm selling a boot camp at some point in the future, I may do a three-night free webinar series, three back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back nights. I may do 21 straight days on Facebook on the same concept. And then add on, tack on a webinar three-night webinar to help promote the concept. And then I test that concept to see if, if people are interested in it or not. Right? It's all part of the promotion cycle to sell the event. But those are all considered showcase events. Okay? So a showcase is, is literally your ability to showcase your talent in front of other people. So they could see it. So there's paid and non-paid showcase events. Okay, if you came to me and said I could put you in front of a thousand people this Saturday, I may say, okay, what time do I need to show up? 
because I know if a thousand people, roughly 16% are going to be open and inviting to the concept. So to me, no matter what you're doing for a living, no matter what you're doing in here, I love the showcase event. But I like bringing people in the, the, the side door, not always in the front door. Okay, now the health coaches many times do these concepts called health and hope nights. And I like the concept, but, but, but if, I, if I was trying to get in better shape, I don't, I don't know if I would go to that concept. Now, if you said double your health, double your wealth, I may go to it. If you said how to build, maintain, and protect your confidence, I may go to it. If you said, right, habits of the top 1% of money earners in the world, and one of those habits is you work out every morning, I may go to it. But when you try to come at me linear, my brain does this. My brain's like, all right, they're trying to sell me something. The concept has got to be strong. Okay, like me and Dr. Elko right now are doing habits of the top 1%. There's five habits of the top 1%. And, and I could take that in any industry. Okay? And these are proven habits of the top people in the world. Scientifically proven. So, so, so that's an interesting concept. So I may do, he and I may do a four-week series. That's Saban's psychologist at the University of Alabama is Elko. He and I may do a four-week series called Habits of the Top 1%. Right? Or we may do a free Zoom on Habits of the Top 1% to sell a four-week series to sell a boot camp on the back end. So everything's leading to something else. In, in my world, in the speaking world, it's called a value ladder. And the value ladder is you come in for free, then you buy something cheap, then you buy something more expensive, then you buy something more expensive, then you keep going, and there's always something somewhere for you to go deeper. But i got to find some way to do what? See, I do con uh, concerts here at this lodge. Like last week I had Ty Herndon. He was really good. He's a country artist that was really big uh, in the you know, early 2000s. And there was a party here. and we had, So we have this little roster of artists we bring in to do concerts. And I, so I was bringing in major artists there for a little bit. And I had a billionaire come twice to the concert. And he, from Silicon Valley, moved to Nashville, and he got invited somebody, and then he came to the concert, got to spend time with him. And he's like, man, this is so cool, just having these concerts here. This is such a cool way to bring people together. He said, this is the most fun I've had since I've been to Nashville. See, that's a connection. See, I may not sell him my coaching. I may go back to him and say, man, I'm raising money for greatness factories around the world. Would you like to be in, or would you know somebody would like to be in? So what I'm trying to show you is when I'm bringing people in the door, it's any way I can get them in the door. They want to come in for a concert, come in for a concert. If they want to come in to learn something, they come in to learn something. Okay, now in May I'm bringing in the founder of Priceline, Jeff, uh, Jeff Hoffman. And we're calling that Dinner with a Billionaire because he sold that company. And, and Priceline's worth $104 billion today. He, and he created Priceline. So, you know, I wanted to spend time with him. And I'm like, how could I spend time with him? All right, why don't I just bring him to my lodge? So I called his agent, said, how much would it cost? He said, this is how much it cost? I said, great. I just want to negotiate one thing in there. He does a two-day boot camp on how to scale companies. And it's typically 12-5, something like that. And I said, I'll bring him to the lodge as long as I get a ticket to that boot camp for me. And he said, done. So he's coming in. We're going to do dinner with the billionaire. The hunting club members get access. Then I'll sell tickets to that, like $4.97. And you can come in and spend the evening with the founder of Priceline. That's a cool concept. Okay, so what is that? Showcase. See, it's just a showcase. Okay, so, so what I'm trying to get you guys to think of is how do we bring people to the party? We got to have something that they're attracted to. And going out and just trying to sell your services to people is really hard. It really sucks. Trying to convince a person they need to get in the gym, even when you know they need to, or, or do, sell their house by auction, or, or list with you, or right? It's, it's, it sucks to go out and try to have to convince people to do this. So my strategy is attracting these people to us by concept. Okay? By concept. All right. What questions do you have on this part so far? Now, 
Let's go to let's go to work on our planning. Look at our little days. Now we got now we got another thing. We got a showcase here. Look at all these things we got to do all day, every day. Very specific things. I got a hit list. I got a farm club. I got a red zone. I got my level 10s. I got my top 25s. I got my blue marlins. I got my new clients. I got my showcase events. Now, if you go out and do all this stuff and you don't get any new clients, there's something bad wrong. <laughs> there's something not, there is something not working with your product or service if you do these, this many things to generate new leads and you don't generate new leads. Something is not working right. Okay? But we're not finished. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight strategies to generate new leads. Now, if you had to pick, and I'm, so I'm going to stop right here, and I'm going to have you, if, if I told you you had to pick four primary strategies, these are four things that you are committed to doing every single day that are up here on this board, which four would you choose? Because I fully understand that you may say, man, I don't have the bandwidth to do all these. But you could say there's four primary strategies I'm going to use. So if it, I'll go first, and then you guys can talk about it at your table. With me, I'm always going to be, this is going to be a primary for me. Typically, the hit list of initiating is a primary for me. The red zone is a primary for me, and the top 25 is a primary for me. Okay, and I'm going to actually come back and show you one on this. So, so if you said to me, Coach, you can only pick four, these are kind of, these are, these are mental strategies, but these are action strategies. Like these are things that keep my mind straight. Is everybody with me? Mm -hmm. These are actions. So if you said I could only choose four actions a day, I would choose for sure showcase events. For sure, uh, red zone, for sure, hit list, and for sure, working my top 25. That would be my four primary strategies. And primary means you do them every day. You do them every day. Okay? So, Wendy, when you were talking about your, the way your people are categorized in your system, you could very easily go back and associate some of these names with those, the way your system is already built. Like your red zones... You know, like your salespeople should be able to say, man, these are people that are red hot. So, so that, would be your, that would be your red zone for the day. Your hit list, you come in, you got to decide what's going to be your hit list. Is it going to be current clients? Is it going to be people from showcase events you create? Is it going to be like who would be on your hit list which would represent new money? Who would be your biggest advocates who could go out and, and pr promote you or bring you new people that you need to be spending more time with, adding more value to? Right? And then you just start taking this system. See, in our, in, our, in our Genie Rocket, it's actually set up like this. So in our Genie Rocket, it says Hit List, Farm Club, Red Zone, Top 25. And our team gets in there and goes, okay, so I could go in there and look at the Red Zones right now. And if I had an hour, I could literally call all the Red Zones and help them close business. Okay? All right, take a second right now and write out what your top four would be. What would be your top four strategies? We talked earlier about your number one strategy. What are your, what are your four? What will be your four when you leave here? 